the Israelites are traveling again. There are real a lot of Israelites in the desert. Where will they find their food? Well, the people grumble again. They say, in Egypt we had meat and enough food, but now we will just die in this desert. The Lord speaks to Moses. I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, in the evening you will eat meat, and in the morning you will find bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. Moses says to the Israelites, You are not grumbling against me, but you have been grumbling against the Lord, and he is hearing what you say. He will show you who he is. That same evening, big quails, big birds, are covering the whole camp of the Israelites. They can catch them and prepare them, and they are eating meat. Will they thank the Lord for this blessing? The next morning, when the people wake up and leave their tents, they say to each other, Hey, look at the ground. What's there? It looks like little white seeds, and it tastes like sweet honey. Moses answers them, This is the bread the Lord has given you to eat. All of you need to gather as much as you need. The people do as they were told. Some gather much, some little. But when they measure it, everyone has just enough. Moses says, Don't keep anything till tomorrow. People call this food manna. They can prepare very nice food of it. They can boil it. They can bake it. Oh, how happy are the children when they get enough food. Will the parents tell them? It's only the Lord who provides food for us. But also this time there are people who don't pay attention to the words of the Lord. They keep part of the food till the next morning. But then it smells badly and it is full of worms. When Moses hears this, he is real angry with these people. Why are they still not obeying and trusting the Lord? For six days the people find every day fresh food. On the sixth day the Lord says, Now you need to get food for two days, because tomorrow is a day of rest. Eat half of it, and then the rest is for tomorrow. That day the food is good. What a blessing that God gives one day of rest, like he does to us as well. Nevertheless, there are still people who go outside and try to find food. But of course there's nothing. It makes the Lord sad. He wants the best for us people. He wants us to have one day of rest. He says, why are the people still refusing to trust me? So from that day on, every week there was a day of rest. Then the Lord asked Moses and Aaron to do something special. They need to fill one jar with this manna. They need to keep it for the generations to come so that they can see the bread that the Lord has given the people to eat in the desert. It will not get bad. The Lord wants us to remember his miracles. He also wants you to remember all the things that he has done for you, so that you will honor him and glorify him for who he is.